So Laura, we're here today at the solar eclipse. Things aren't looking so great really with the clouds. I mean, what's the expectations? What should people expect to see now? Yeah, I know, I'm pretty upset myself. Um, I'm really still hoping for a break in the clouds, even for a few minutes and we'll see something. Um, at half nine, it is going to go dark. Um, so that'll be kind of something a little bit exciting to be able to, something is happening and it's not just us going on about it. And have you been impressed by the amount of people down here so far? I know I have. Yeah. Oh, completely. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, this morning when I woke up, even I was like, oh, there's nobody's going to show up now. It's cloudy. And people, was, I came in at like half seven and people were starting waiting here. We hadn't even set up. Um, so it's absolutely fantastic to see this engagement with the people. If the sun comes out, we are going to let some people in to have a look through the telescopes. Um, and we have some pinhole projectors as well. Uh, so we, we've been out to a lot of schools previously uh, to give out some glasses and to do some workshops. So that's kind of where the shortage of glasses came from. Uh, we kind of prioritised schools and things like that. I think uh, secondary school students kind of knew about it and they're a bit more interesting. But primary schools were so enthusiastic, having some crazy questions that like stuff you wouldn't even think about. Like why isn't, why does the moon burn up? Why isn't it hot like Earth? Um, which is fantastic to see. I love going to schools and seeing those type of things. And also Silicon Public, we're pretty, we're pretty big into like diversity yeah. among in the sciences. So like how do you find as someone who's studying solar physics at the moment in terms of say like the gender balance? Yeah. So kind of the diversity how do you find that at the moment I think it's I think it's getting better um, I think it's good to go out to schools and get people into so we've been out to a lot of girls schools trying to be like do physics with leaving certain things like this actually in our group it's pretty well balanced this year we've had two so myself and another girl came in as first year PhD students and there's another girl in the group so I think it's in on the right path for for gender equality and I mean have you always had a big interest in space the two years or I mean is this just kind of you heard about the event and you're coming down or um, me, uh, particularly, like, my parents are very into, like, the Mars One project and that kind of thing. Um, so, like, my family would have, set, like, would have sparked my interest in this kind of thing. I don't know about you, what about you? Well, I, I just heard about it on the internet, and I always wanted to, like, yeah, see a solar eclipse. And the last time I saw it, I was five. There's people from, like, America and Spain and everything. People are leaving school for this. I'm so impressed. It's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, you know, to see a solar eclipse. Actually, the last time I saw it, one was in Boston back in 1995. So, you know, I was looking forward to seeing it, but there's so many clouds that you can't really see anything. Yeah, and actually today is a really powerful day because not only is it the solar eclipse, it's a new moon and it's also the spring equinox. So it's a really powerful day. <laughs> What I've been impressed by is, is just the public engagement, the crowds, the people coming out early on a Friday morning. It's not the most uh, appealing of times, but the fact that there's so many people here and there was a, a couple of seconds there where we, we just got to see some of the eclipse. The sun just about came out and there was a, a palpable feeling of uh, positivity and a cheer went up. And I think that's that's just a, it's, it's nice for us as astrophysicists to be able to, uh, to come out and talk to people about this and answer their questions and just uh, engage them in a way that we normally wouldn't be able to. So for me, I'm happy it was a success.